Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are talking about intersection uh, on the OCR FSMQ new spec and uh, yeah just before we get into things I want to apologize really for the the infrequency of the videos obviously if you're watching this in the future this means nothing to you uh, so skip forward a little bit but um, you know, I, this is a side project for me, and, and obviously uh, time is quite limited in my life as well, but uh, I have got uh, up to 21 lessons um, done, uh, so they're, they're going to be recorded over the next few days and obviously uh, uploaded uh, daily and, until I run out of them. Uh, we, we will get it all covered before the exam, do not worry, uh, they will all be done by probably the end of the Easter holidays, I'm hoping. Um, you know, not up on the on the channel, but uh, they will be out before the exam. So do not worry about that. Uh, just wanted a, a quick public service announcement uh, before we got into today's video, if you're watching it in 2019. So if not, forget all that. Anyway, intersection, that is what we're talking about today, and we're going to be uh, able to work out the point of intersection uh, of two lines by the end of this lesson. So let's get into it. First of all, sketch the lines y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals x plus 1. So we get our first line, that's going to be y equals 2x plus 3, and we get our second line. Ooh, what's happened there? Our second line is y equals x plus 1. And as you can see, there is an interesting point here where a bomb's gone off or something like that. Basically, they've connected and we're interested in that point. So they've crossed paths and it looks like it's at about uh, minus 2, minus 1 if you uh, come 2 to the left and, and 1 down. The, the centre point of that is about there, so it's about minus 2, minus 1. Our job is to find the point of impact without the need of pitches. So, you know, in an exam, you don't really have uh, time to make a, a full-scale drawing of, of these two lines and, and work it out by hand. So, uh, work it out by eye, I should say. So, we need a, a pen and paper method to help us through it. So, if we have y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals x plus 1, then can't we just say... 2x plus 3 equals x plus 1 because they both are equal to y. So we take what y equals here and we sub it in to where uh, y is there. So for every y equals 2x plus 3, we can sub that in for everywhere it says y in this equation because they both equal y. So why not? That wasn't meant to be a pun, by the way. So 2x plus 3 equals x plus 1. And then we tidy up and we say x equals minus 2. And then we can uh, put that into one of these equations up here to work out what the y coordinate is. So um, I chose that one. Probably easier to choose the other one, but hey ho. Uh, but you get y equals 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4, plus 3, which is minus 1, which is exactly the same as what we got before minus 2, minus 1. So that is the method. We find out what y is, we sub it in uh, for the y value in the other equation then we set them off against each other and work out our respective coordinates. So here's an example then find the point of intersection of the lines y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x plus 8. So we've got our two equations here y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals x plus 8. So y is equal to 3x minus 2 and also y is equal to x plus 8. So what are we going to do? Well, we know that y equals 3x minus 2, so why not take that 3x minus 2 and sub it in for our value here? So we go down and we call it 3x minus 2 equals x plus 8, and then normal service resumed. We work out what x is, we get our x's on its own, 2x equals 10, we want singular x, so, so x equals 5. We then stick that x equals 5 back into our original equation, and we work out that y is 3 times 5 minus 2, which is 13. So y is 13, and there's your coordinate. Easy as that. Let's do another one then. Find the point of intersection of the lines x plus 2y equals 8 and 5x equals 1 plus 3y. So this one's a little bit more tricky, um, simply because we've got... Uh, we, we haven't got y on its own this time, but that's easy. We'll just make x on its own. So we take the, the 2y over the other side, and we get x equals 8 minus 2y. 
and we've got 5x equals 1 plus 3y. So wherever we see an x, we replace that x with 8 minus 2y. So this time it comes down, but the 5 remains because it's 5x that equals that. It's not x that equals that, it's 5x. So we do 5 times 8 minus 2y uh, equals 1 plus 3y. Then we expand the brackets and we get 40 minus 10y equals 1 plus 3y. Rearrange, we get 13y equals 39, which is a coincidence because y equals 3, I guess. Uh, I haven't put that in. There we go. Just got the animations in the wrong order. So y equals 3, and we stick that back in uh, at the top. So we get uh, x equals 8 minus 2 times 3, which is 8 minus 2 times 6, uh, which is wrong, <laughs> I think. Uh, let, let, let me see. Um... Oh no, x is 2. Yeah, that's that's right. Uh, but y should be 3. Y should be 3. That's what threw me off there. So the, the 2 is right because it's x, remember, this time. Um, so it should be x equals 2. That's right because it's 8 minus 2 times 3, which is 8 minus 6, which is 2. Uh, and, and obviously y is 3 from what we found out before. So, this is uh, the, the final example then, and this is probably the worst thing that can happen to you in an exam. It's probably unlikely. I think more likely is the, uh, the previous ones that we've done, but we'll, we'll study it anyway. So, sketch the graph y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12, and the line x plus y equals minus 2. So, x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0 factorises to x minus 6 uh, times x plus 2 equals 0. So, that means our points of intersection on the x-axis are at 6 and minus 2. So, we stick them on the graph. Uh, we know the y-intercept is minus 12, because that's here. If x equals 0, then uh, y is minus 12. So we then uh, draw our lovely curve through it, like that, although yours will probably look a lot nicer than that. Uh, and then we draw the other line, uh, y equals minus x minus 2, gradient is minus 1, intercept is minus 2. So we draw a line like that. And now you can see there's two points of contact on uh, the, the, the line and the curve. So that, that's a hint to you, there's going to be two points of intersection here. So, there and there. We then want to find the points of intersection. So we know that y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12 and y equals minus x minus 2. So wherever we see a y, let's paste in minus x minus 2. So there you go. I've done it the other way around. Wherever I see a y, I've done x squared minus 4x minus 12. You get exactly the same thing. It's just one would end up on the other side. But it, it really doesn't matter. So we've got x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to minus x minus 2. Don't panic. Just rearrange. And we get that. x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. We then factorise that because the examiner is nice to you. And we get x minus 5 uh, times x plus 2 equals 0. And then that means that x equals 5 or x equals minus 2. We're not finished yet. We need to find the y coordinates. So we stick 5 and minus 2 into probably this one. That is a lot easier uh, an equation to do it in. So y equals minus 7 or 0 because uh, you've got minus 5 minus 2, which is going to be uh, minus 7. Or you get... Um, 2 minus 2 uh, is 0, because minus minus 2 is just plus 2, of course. So those are your two coordinates, and uh, you stick them in coordinate form, and then that's it. So you know everything to do with intersection. Apologies about the little mistake on the previous slide, but I corrected it mid-flow. Um, the corrected version will be on uh, the Google Drive, as always, in the uh, comments section below. So please do check that out. Uh, if you want any more help, if you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. If you have found it helpful, make sure you leave a like and let me know down in the comments. If you found it unhelpful, then let me know what I can do to improve. And very best of luck with your FSMQ uh, whenever it is.